Hey guys, this is BenRob0329, and sorry I haven't posted a video in a little while. My laptop is kind of half broken, so I have to get that fixed. But today I am going to try to start a new series. How about MT News? Yeah, MT News. Um, and basically this is going to give you guys updates on the latest build, because I, I use a build from the AUR. Um, I'm running Manjaro Linux right now because it works and it's lightweight and it looks awesome. But so I use the latest LuaJet build from the AUR, so I get to try out the newest features and show you guys what's coming, what's cooking in the developmental oven or furnace of the MT devs. So first off, you can see that we have a new logo and they have finally renamed it officially renamed it minus this that's not done yet but we have a new banner that clearly states that this is mind test game versus say you know the minimal the m minimal development test versus mind test game so get a neat little you know get something to finally make sense um another thing and pretty much the only thing the only other thing that is visibly changed there are under the hood changes that I'm not going to go into because those more or less because those don't really affect you guys and they're not substantial enough yet for me to really feel like I should cover but if there's something you guys want me to cover and talk about then I will certainly do that um, we have a new settings menu that is a tree style settings menu that is more aimed at people who want to tweak the settings a lot so the devs are thinking about bringing back a simpler uh, style menu, but probably going to be slightly different from the old one. Probably a little bit different settings, I would assume. But essentially, from here, you can change all kinds of stuff. Another thing I want to do in this series is to keep you guys up to date with some. With some I'm not going to do all, because there's because then that would be crazy for me to ha try to cram in. I have like an hour long episode probably reviewing every single mod. But I'm going to try to do some, especially ones that are like really cool stuff that you need to go check out. Um, mods as they come out or update, you know, some kind of substantial change or something. One of the ones I feel like I really need to review and I decided to smash it into this episode was map gen villages from Skokamine Soko 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 Mine Sokamine. Essentially this is not the one you wanna download. You wanna go download the Villages mod pack which contains a ton more stuff that is really gonna be awesome and epic, including stuff like Mob of Trader and more stone cottages and other stuff. It's going to add more building materials. It, it's just awesomeness, and I'm going to show you this right now. Um, I have I've loaded up. I have not entered into this world yet. It's just a brand new. It is a brand new. Map Gen V7, and I'm just going to enable a few stuff. Farming Plus Plus, uh, which is another mod I recommend that has some very realistic farming to it, which is honestly pretty awesome. Item frames, I don't think that's utilized, but you never know. Mobs, why not? More blocks, most definitely. MT foods, probably utilized. I don't know everything that it utilizes. Streets, it may utilize for like a modern village city thing, but I'm not sure I'll have to ask. But essentially that's all we need, so go. Um, and I have turned off... Well, for a while I did have uh, predefined item visuals, but that slowed me down to like insanely low FPS, and it did not spawn me in a village. Normally it spawns me in a village. Okay then. I will have to find a village and I'll probably have to do a couple jump cuts. Time to search for a village. And I'm recording this at 60 frames per second. But I get the feeling... Yeah, I'm only getting like 30. But... 
Um, Mapgen Villages does slow stuff down quite a good bit. And this is a really interesting, that's a pretty interesting texture there. Is this like a desert house? Then? With, like, no shadows at all? Building Sand City AP Tower. Okay, this is not quite what I'm used to. But here's a trader for you. He sells two of those. Your name is Paul. You sell two drinking glass for a wood plank and for wooden planks and sand or or forty of those. You want a steel pickaxe? Seriously? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, that actually might be no. Well, I doubt it's a good deal because for that one. You might as well have made the... By that time, you might as well have made all the obsidian glass. Alright guys, I'm just going to hop into a new world because it was not... Normally it plops me in the middle of a village. Like this. And just in case you guys didn't notice on my channel... I have a brand new skin that I made based off Sam. Essentially, he wears a green t-shirt, jeans, and has shoes that are based off of my shoes, which is pretty much just brown leather, brown fuzzy leather, and he has a BR on his back. Okay, back to MG Villages. So, I have a new channel art and all kinds of fancy stuff like that. In case you guys didn't know this, more snow puts snow on top of fences and um, planes and stuff like that and you can actually pick up snow off of actual blocks but you cannot pick it up off of other stuff like I can't clear the snow off around this thing because it thinks I'm doing something else but something I can do which is kind of is I can throw snow If it will cooperate with me. There we go. Just took me a minute. But it's kind of neat because it like... Blows in the wind. It kind of like plops on the ground almost. You can almost kind of imagine that. Well, anyways, this is a village and that's... I believe is supposed to be autumn leaves. And it let me... Winter leaves. So it's supposed to be like dead sticks, I think. Well, there's some autumn leaves mixed in there. Essentially, it's just another kind of leaf, which is actually really neat. And you can see there's a little covering in there with more snow. So, And then there's some more snow here. So, this is a neat little village. Kind of looks like the first house that I found. Your name is Farmer. It's a very inventive name. So something else that um, I believe the Cottage mod adds is this like wash basin thing. Well, let's go into a normal villager's house, not a standalone guy. He has his bedroom here with a nice stash of eight whole torches. His you were going to give me your old wood hoe. You've got to be kidding me. Various things that you can come in here and just take for yourself. Me. <laughs> but you wouldn't do that. I mean, you know, the villagers, they, they use those. Even though they don't move. Because that would take up more CPU on servers. Because mine test has to be properly... Um, I guess mine test has to be properly... Because mine test has to be properly in... Mm. So, ooh. This is the church. With your Bible. Your your extra binding, just in case it comes undone. And notes, paper. So actually... Did they... 
No, they haven't done that yet. They have not done writable paper like they did writable books. There is a mod for writable paper. And I really wish it would be in default. But this is actually kind of neat. I think it'd be cool to have, like, a trader be, like, stand up here. But he hasn't gone that far yet. To have very strategic um, placing. What? What? Oh no, you don't. No. You, what? Donald. I'm not Donald. You're a taller version of myself. I don't have a brother named Donald. It's probably just the fact that I have my skin as a texture pack overriding the defaults. That would probably actually look like Sam. Oh, there's a ladder there. I was like, wait, what kind of glitched out elevator does he have? Nah, it's just that. Yeah, so this is basically MG Villages. It spawns ginorma ginormous... I do mean ginormous. I mean, look at that. It's like a winter... looks like a comet hit here. Yeah, like I said, there's still a couple bugs. You're a traitor. Go away or die. I am taller than you. Because I have the power of shift. I'm watching you. Snowball fight! Wait, what? What just happened? What, what just happened? Did I just, like, clear off all con- I forgot you. Like, forgot. Snow, like, moves and clears off when you throw it. It's, like, really weird and glitched out. Yeah, that's another glitch. Another bug that needs to be fixed. One cool thing that spawns are these, like, um,. Um, I'm trying to think. These horse buggies. These neat little horse buggies. That, like... You can be like, oh yeah, going for a ride. They don't actually move, which is sad. So I want you to make a mod that makes them actually move. Sadly, though, I'm I, I'm the guy who had to who had to sit underneath. I, I had to sit on the floor. <laughs> Anyways... So, there's also a town well. Doesn't actually do anything. And these things will spawn too. These little picnic tables. Which is very cool. Very nice. Very nice touch. And we have another house. That is just kind of placed. It's just kind of put together. A bench here. Tell little Timmy a midnight story. I think that was a Mark Player quote, but I'm not sure. Anyways. So, yeah. That is MG Villages for you. So, let's get. I forgot they didn't add that yet. So, let's get into the changes specifically with... Um, specifically with 4.13. So, um, well, 4.13 dash dev so far. Really, the only things that I have noticed that have changed is... Um, a revision of the bucket textures here you know you can see that they're fairly fairly more they're more pixelated but I think they honestly look better oh yeah and if you find a blacksmith's shop you can find an anvil 
and possibly steel hammer so you can repair your tools using the anvil. I think I'm going to request that being in default. Also add sleeping mats and other stuff. Anyways, back to MT game. Other than that, I haven't really noticed a whole lot of changes. But I might be wrong, and I probably am. But from what I can tell, the main, main, main thing that has changed is the addition of the water lily. Which only goes in regular water, if I'm correct. And they do spawn occasionally in, like, a swamp. The other thing is permanent fire, but I think this was in before. Essentially, it's just fire that burns forever. Unless it's surrounded by snow. Or water? And I guess I just like... Oh, snap. I think I just ruined their crops. Um, you didn't. S you didn't see anything. Well, that what does it for this episode. I want to point out one more thing: if you punch a trader, it will yell, "Hey, stop that! I'm a peaceful trader. Here, buy something." So that does it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you like what you see, feel free to please like, subscribe, share, and etc. And thanks for watching.